my biggest dream at that time was to sign to Jabba, right? And as he would always put me on the spot, he told me that I'm not an artist that should be signed. I could be a businessman and could be as big as Lil Wayne, like Sabido would say. He would always tell me that. And I'd be like, man, this guy's so crazy. I'm hungry. I'm just trying to release this album. But he would always tell me that, no, I can't, I can't sign you. I can't sign you. I can't. Eventually, you know, I ended up having to do my own thing. And he was right. I, I ended up blowing up in a way that I also couldn't understand, you know, at all. You know, my success was really, really crazy. And we drifted apart. I was very busy. He was very busy. There was a lot of assumptions. And long story short, um, me and, you know, Jeb, I had like a very big fallout. But I'm proud to say that I have never, not once in public, disrespected him. I have never, not once in public, shared how or responded to any of the stuff that um, I felt. And I'm so glad that I didn't because those are the videos that would be going up on the internet right now. <laughs> Two weeks ago, I met him and came up to me and said, you know, man, you want that I'm like, no, for the man, I got a lot of I sent you a text. I showed him the text. There's actually a small video of me and him talking. And he looked me in the eyes like, hey, but I'm going to show that you. And I told him I love him too. And we carried on speaking, but he carried on saying, hey, but I got a lot of He looked me in the eyes, you know? And we took a picture. He. He, he forced me to pray with him. And I shamed him so. And that's one of the things that he told me. We would speak for hours about God, you know? And that's, it was so weird because a lot of hip hop or rappers don't really, you know, they're not really spiritual. But, you know, we also connected on a spiritual level as my brother. 